Hello everybody, boys and girls, people of all ages, welcome to this here continuity analysis review thingy where we review a lot of continuities and stuff. The name of this YouTube channel is Continuity Commentary for now, unless we change the name somehow. Uh, but yeah, that's the name, don't wear it out. Talk to the hand. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so let's look at this channel here, shall we? Uh, today's channel of interest is Fem3, I guess. I don't know what that means. Fem, like feminine or something? Maybe. Well, first let's have a look at what they show here in this channel. So, um, a lot of crying, a lot of emotions, a lot of ladies, a lot of dresses, a lot of makeup, a lot of cosmetics. Esmeralda. Yeah, Isaura TV. Isaura TV. Is this how it's called? What? Isaura. Let's translate what that means. Isaura. 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 No, that's not Albanian. Silly. Ah, uh, I don't think that's a word. I think they made up that word. That's not a Hungarian word. Isaura. Oh, it's just the name of a TV channel. They're just promoting a different channel here. So it has nothing to do with this one really, it's a sister channel, probably. So uh, a lot of reality stuff, like building a house, waving at people, coloring, painting, uh, fixing up stuff, home improvement basically. How to do it yourself, build a house, build a bear, <laughs> care bears. Building houses. Anoj Hazalak. Yeah, I couldn't read it because it disappeared too fast. They just don't consider my feelings, my, my speed, my intellect, my slow intellect. I'm doing this. So let's go on to some dry facts, for, shall we? Uh, what are the dry facts about this here TV channel? Well, Fam3 is a Fam3 is a television channel operated by the TV2 group that broadcasts in Hungary. It is an entertainment channel primarily de dedicated to talk shows, reality series involving lifestyles and family life. It was originally launched on New Year's Day 2010. On the 5th of September 2016 at 05 CET the old fam was replaced by Prime, and a new fam 3 started its test broadcasts on a new frequency. Both channels officially launched at 21 CET. Prior to the launch since 2008, the channel was planned with, with several names. First, they wanted to bring Fem to Hungary. The name then changed to TV3 as a reincarnation of an entertainment channel which closed down on the 21st of February 2000. In the year 2000! <laughs> the name was finalized in December 2009. I understood nothing. So, yeah. We have patience over here. Yeah, this is real serious. This is a real serious channel about illnesses and dramas, bad things happening to good people, I guess. Brain tumors, brain scans, electrodes, pro ladies with serious haircuts talking like they know something, doctors talking like they know something, and regular people having fun until they don't, until something bad happens. So, who wants to watch this kind of stuff? I don't. Maybe I do. Maybe I'm lying. Maybe I'm a habitual capitulational liar. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think that I'm a lion. That I'm lying. That I'm. I'm more like a hyena, laughing all the time. We got ladies taking their taking their shot at the runway. We got flowers. Whoa! We got flowers everywhere. This channel's gotta be for ladies. This looks like a soap commercial. Everything's squeaky clean and spotless. You know what I'm saying, right? Bride and Prejudice. The Forbidden Weddings. As opposed to the Non-Forbidden Weddings. 
which are normal weddings. So there's a book by somebody called Pride and Prejudice. I should really read it one day, but who's got time for books? Am I right? With all these TV series and TV channels everywhere. Yeah, so uh, who, who wrote Pride and Prejudice? That's like related to this video. Pride and Prejudice book. Okay. okay. We gotta learn everything about everything. Pride and Prejudice is a 19th, uh, 1813 romantic novel of manners written by Jane Austen. The novel follows the character development of Elizabeth Bennet, the dynamic protagonist of the book, who learns about the re repercussions of hasty judgments and eventually comes to appreciate the difference between superficial goodness and actual goodness. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a nice book. A classic piece filled with comedy. Its humor lies in its honest depiction of manners, education, marriage, and money during the Regency era in Regency era in Great Britain. What's the Regency era, right? Am I right? How am I supposed to know all this stuff? Let's let us see what the Regency era is. The Regency in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland was a period in the and of the Georgian era, when King George III was deemed unfit to rule due to his illness, and his son ruled as his proxy, as Prince Regent. Okay, let's see what Prince, Re Prince Regent means. A Prince Regent, or Prince Regent, the only difference in spelling is the hyphen, is a prince who rules a monarchy as Regent instead of a monarch. What's a Regent? Let's click on Regent. A Regent is a person appointed to govern a state because the monarch is a minor, is absent, or is incapacitated. Okay, I guess that's it for the rabbit hole of... What was it that we were originally searching for? Bride and Prejudice. Bride and Prejudice. Okay. Premiere. There seems to be some kind of premiere on this channel. By the way, the logo, let us describe the logo for all of you people who have failed miserably to pay attention to how the logo looks like. Basically a square, a white square with a transparent 3 carved in it. And it says, there's something written inside it, I can't really read, femme I guess. Yeah. Look at this dude's weird bangs. All kinds of movies here. Some of them good, some of them... Most of them wacky. Only the wacky movies. Where people exaggerate, go over the top. They've got a lot of good movies here. In January. Well, it's January right now. I should be going to my room and watching this channel instead of commenting on it. Maybe. Or maybe I should. Who knows? I like doing this as well. So there's people all around us at a wedding trying out pillows, trying out wedding gowns and dresses, rings, wearing rings, choosing rings, picking and choosing, drinking cham champagne, champagne I mean. So let us pay attention to the Hungarian aspect of this channel. What's so hum Hungarian about this? Well, some of the shows I guess. Wait, uh, we have some more dry facts about this channel to tell you. Right. Not not many, but I mean, sister channels. Well, it's pretty much the same sister channels as we read um, about on a different continuity analysis review thingy. Basically, the sister channels are TV2, Mozzie Plus, Super TV2, Spieler 1 TV, Spieler 2 TV, Isa Ura TV, the one that got advertised earlier, Zena Boutique, Prime, Lychee, Kiwi, Humor Plus, Jockey TV, Jockey TV, Mozzie Versum. These are the TV channels, and sometimes I struggle with uh, choosing which way to pronounce it, right? You can pronounce it the Hungarian way, or you can pronounce it the English way, right? Some of them sound English. But yeah, like 
You could say Jockey TV, or you could say Yoki TV or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one's correct. I guess I have to tune into the TV channel and just hear how they pronounce it. So the notable North American shows that they air on this hair channel are 9210, Beauty and the Greek, no, Beauty and the Geek, sorry, <laughs> Cougar Town, Desperate Housewives, Elementary, Grey's Anatomy, House, Lie to Me, The Good Wife, and uh, yeah, The Good Wife. Dr. House. Yeah, okay. So some of them ended. Oh, some of them are still, are still being produced. Like Grey's Anatomy is still being produced. That's news to me. Wow. So it still hasn't ended. Look at the squeaky clean soap commercial uh, bumpers here on this here TV channel. So Bride and Prejudice. Well, the name is not very positive. I guess if everything was super well, turned out super well, and went smoothly without any problems, if everything was hunky-dory, then uh, there wouldn't be a need to make a show about it. We're actually at the end of the continuity, so I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, and as always, I'm too late.